Okay, so this is it set up. Don't. Oh. Hi everyone, Sleepy again. Uh, sorry that there wasn't a lot of information during the unboxing but I did film some but it was too awkward to put in so I'm going to talk about what the tablet came with and how I felt about the tablet and all of its functions and features while I'm going on with this speed paint. So this is my voice, I am British, I live in England. Uh, a lot of you are still surprised whenever you hear that and it's quite sweet, it makes me feel different, which is good for once. Okay, so this is a review about the Canvas GT191. It's a monitor, pen to monitor tablet, so you can use the pen directly on the screen. I've never used one before, but I thoroughly enjoyed using it. So much so that I don't think I want to go back to my old tablet. So the tablet itself came with everything you need. It comes with all of the wires, comes with screws, screwdriver, everything you need for it. The screws in the screwdriver are so you can attach the adjustable stand onto the back of the tablet. Really easy to do by yourself. I wasn't so sure because I'm prone to disasters and accidents, but I managed to do it myself pretty easily. I'm quite proud. The stand is easily adjustable. You just have to pull a little handle at the back and then you can move it to whatever angle you like. It also has a little bit of give which I like so you don't feel like you're gonna break it. It came with a screen protector. Now I didn't know that the screen protector was actually to give the screen texture for when you're drawing on it. But so yeah I took that straight off. But um, I actually quite like how soft and smooth the screen is. So it's like no resistance at all, you can just easily drag your hand along it. But I did try it with the screen protector and it did have a very nice papery texture to it, which I really liked. It comes with a pen that's in a more of a paintbrush kind of shape. It's really easy to hold, got a nice grip and the buttons are in a good place as well. I managed to quite easily configure the buttons on the pen so that one of them could be my backspace. And when I did that, I found that I didn't need my laptop right next to me. I could just use the screen by itself because I needed to press Ctrl Z 
on my computer while I was drawing the first time I used it while I was doing the speed paint but after using it a few times later I managed to kind of personalise it to suit me. I don't have a desk or any workspace at the moment so I had to use it on my lap which is why having my laptop next to me taking up all the space on the sofa wasn't the best idea but yeah, I managed to work around it and it's not the end of the world having it on your lap. So yeah, I, I do recommend you have a desk if you're going to use a big tablet like this, but it's not necessary. The pen comes with a holder that has eight extra pen tips in it as well as the one that already comes with the pen. The pen holder, I'm not sure if it, this is what they were going for, but it has a quite nice like ink pot aesthetic to it. And when you put the brush in it, it kind of sticks out the top like a paintbrush would out of a pen, a pen jar, ink jar. Don't know if anyone cares about that, but I personally like it, it's cute. Also comes with a cloth that you can wipe the screen with, which I'm using constantly because I love this tablet so much don't want to get it dirty. Um, but it also comes with a glove that covers two of your fingers. Doesn't quite fit me perfectly because my hands are so small, but it doesn't get in the way at all. I like wearing it personally. You don't need to. I like wearing it just because my hand has less grip on the screen so I can easily draw without resistance, I suppose. On the bottom of the screen there is a menu button, from there you can adjust screen settings and change the brightness and saturation of the screen. When I got it, it was originally on a warm setting and so when I was colouring the speed paint I got a little bit confused and I kept on going to my computer screen for guidance to make sure the colours were right, but after using it a few times I realised that I could actually adjust the screen and I managed to make it almost identical to my computer screen. My laptop screen isn't the best quality colour wise. I don't get to see gradients very well on there, but on the tablet screen everything is perfect. It is obviously meant for artwork so you need to see all of the colours, all of the gradient, and it just blends so nicely. When it actually comes to using the tablet, the pen pressure is amazing. I've never used anything so good before. It's kind of... I found myself naturally drawing like I would if I was drawing in a sketchbook. So the amount of detail I unconsciously put into the sketch alone, I found it really satisfying. I really enjoyed how pretty the sketch looked. Normally my sketches are very rough very sloppy, which is why I never record them, but I felt I needed to put the recording for the sketch of this drawing in here just so you could see the progress I made and how, again, much detail I put into it. This is just for monitor tablets in general, but I really like how I can bend and get the different angles that I need and zoom in myself, well, not really zoom in, but look closer to get all the detail I need without constantly having to zoom in, zoom out, rotate the screen. And I like that, it means that I can get work done quicker and just again being able to put more attention to the detail into it without getting tired of constantly having to adjust the settings. This tablet is about $500, which roughly converts into £380. So I think that's pretty good for a monitor tablet of its quality, but I wouldn't recommend this for beginners. I recommend beginners go for a cheaper, simpler tablet, maybe a portable one, a small one. Um, but if you're interested in doing this professionally and you want to get a professional tablet, I really do recommend this Huion. And again, I don't think I want to go back to my normal tablet.
So that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope my voice wasn't too awkward. Tried my best, emptied out the house for this, so I hope it went okay. I'm sorry I haven't been making videos recently, but I recently got into my college, the course that I wanted. It's taking up a lot of my time and a lot of attention, but it's all worth it. I love this course so much and I'm learning a lot. It's an animation and game design course, so hopefully my absence will kind of help me grow and get better. So when I get back, my content will be better. There is also a possibility that I will upload college work onto my YouTube channel. Apparently having a YouTube channel counts as work experience, which I think is quite handy, but I can't really juggle YouTube channel commissions and college work, at least not easily, while still having free time. Because I am a very tired person, I need my sleep. Anyway, so if you're interested in the Huey on, in this particular Huey on, or if you want to have a look at what else they have, there are links to their channel in the description. There are also links to their social media if you want to ask them anything or have a look. A look. But yeah, I really love this tablet, I really recommend it, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye bye!